Hey everyone, so I was trying to wait for another nice day, but as you can see, all the leaves are turning and falling off, and I don't think we really have any nice days left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the garden tour, so kind of spur of the moment, I'm in my blankie. I just <laughs> came out to check it. Uh, I gotta wash my winter coat because it happens every year. It gets cold every year in Canada, but I just, I'm never prepared for it. I just am in denial until it happens. It is currently October 26th and it is five degrees outside and we're starting to get uh, in the minus at nighttime. So like minus one, minus two. And somehow my peppers have held on, but I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. We're just gonna get in there and hopefully my fall garden holds on a little bit longer. This little patch of tomatoes that volunteered from a cherry tomato I threw over here and didn't clean up. So this one here is just trying its best to go, but they're gonna die soon. And then I planted a bunch of beets here, but the bugs got to them when I planted them because it was still fairly warm out. But I think that we have a few that are trying. This one's trying really hard. <laughs> so we'll see if he, we'll see if he beats. <laughs> I planted some kale and some spinach. The kale didn't come up or it got eaten. The spinach is trying really hard, but I think it's getting too cold for it. And then my peppers, my poor, poor peppers. Um, a week or two ago, they had flowers and those flowers have since died. It's gotten really cold, but they're all wet. There's still some jalapenos and they're still growing. So I've just left them. See what they're gonna do, you know, they're gonna grow anymore. And then my bell peppers over here, um, I thought that they were done. And then somehow they just kept going. And this plant's so heavy it fell over. Um, next year I'm going to do support for my peppers. Oh, well, we're harvesting that one. Okay. And I don't know that they're going to really grow that much more. Um, but they tend to be kind of bitter at this size. And there's th four stars of the show. First is the arugula. Um, my hands are so cold, so I'm not going to film and pick them at the same time. I think I can pick these outer leaves and the middle will keep growing. I think that's how you do it, am I correct? And then this lettuce, it's called Grand Rapids lettuce. It volunteered from months and months ago. It didn't want to grow then, but I guess it likes the cold. Uh, a few random spinaches, and then this one is doing really well. And then the prettiest, or the purple lady bok choy. And they're still just growing away. Doing their thing. I don't know how big you're supposed to let them get. Uh, the ones I planted in the summer got eaten by bugs and now it's cold enough. Oh, this one was a bit of a victim of bug damage. But the other ones are nice and full. And again, new growth in there. Oh yeah, and this lone carrot. I hope he grows and can see what kind he is. <laughs> and then I planted four kohlrabis and they were also victim to bug damage, but this one seems to be doing a lot better than the one that I planted in the summer. The soil I planted that one in, I believe was too dense and the root couldn't grow. But this one seems to be growing properly, so. We'll see how long it goes for. So I almost forgot to tell you about my garlic. I planted five garlic in between the bok choy. I don't know. There's one. It's looking okay. That one's doing the best. There's one down here that hasn't grown out. Should I be putting mulch in here for them during the winter and then kind of unbury them? or just let them do their thing. Is it too late? Like, did I fail at garlic? Just uh, let me know in the comments. And there's my mystery to me. Why do you have new flowers? Why are you doing that? 
okay, so I was gonna say this guy's looking really sad and not doing so well. These are the tomatoes. They're still growing and they're getting like green on the bottom and I'm getting excited <laughs> if they just keep growing and they've got new flowers somehow and they're making new little baby tomatoes so it's obviously not too cold right I'm gonna pinch these flowers off though and then they can focus and pinch these baby tomatoes off um, so they can focus on the tomatoes that are already there hopefully that works pull these flowers off and see if they grow and then the morning glories are starting to die back which I'm actually excited about um, now I don't know where the seed pods are oh they're in there so you want those to dry out and get brown um, so there's still some time for that to be happening and some more you can see they're white and still pretty soft. You want them to harden up and dry up. Um, and then I'll have more morning glories next year. Well, thanks for coming on that short tour with me. Um, I'll probably do one more when I harvest. The season is almost over, but I'll keep you guys updated till then. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys next time.